Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into this latest video weather briefing. We're going to highlight a big change in the weather pattern, rain and snow. At least two storms are in the making. This will be moderate to high impact, especially it looks like storm number two is the coldest on Monday. So we're talking about low elevation snow. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with National Weather Service. We're looking at the potential for an active weather pattern in Southern California. Developing late Friday and rolling through Tuesday of next week. This would bring heavy snowfall in the mountains, especially with storm number two. So we're looking at two storms. The second one will be much colder and stronger. Storm number one, we could see five inches of snow, up to five inches of snow in the mountain regions above 4,000 feet. Storm number two, we could see mountain communities getting around 10 inches of snow with greater amounts for sure up around the ski area locations. Rainfall is expected to be widespread, but it'll be heaviest. The largest totals will be in San Diego County. Storm number one, quarter inch of rain, up to three quarters of an inch of rain in the wetter locations. Storm number two, widespread one to two inches of rain for most of our cities. Now keep in mind, the coastal slopes will receive more rainfall than this. Storm number two is the heaviest of the two storms. It is also the colder storm. We could see some urban flooding from the heavier showers and isolated thunderstorms. Each storm is preceded by southwest winds, so no more Santa Ana winds. Strongest winds look to be on Monday, where we could see some gusts up around 50 miles per hour in the passes and over the ridges. So the focus for storm one and two is that storm two is stronger and colder and has the heavier showers and the heavier snowfall. Now let's take a look. We had some recent strong winds in Southern California. Take a look at this. We had about 100 weather stations in San Diego County that gusted up around 50 miles per hour or greater. Up north, we saw similar wind conditions widespread and we had around 60 weather stations that gusted 50 miles per hour or higher across the Inland Empire. Now, the rainfall that we have coming in and is predicted for these next two storms is certainly welcome. It's been very dry across California and across Southern California, less than 50% of average. Some areas even less than 25% of average so far since the start of this water year. What kind of rain are we looking at? That beneficial rainfall overall will be widespread. So between the two storms, we're talking about widespread one to two inches of precipitation, less in the deserts, but some spillover. But we're also looking at the rainfall precipitation to be most significant across San Diego County as shown on this map here. More specifically for storm number one, widespread precipitation, heaviest on Saturday from those showers. And you can see the dark green areas over a half inch of precipitation. Now for storm number two, this is the stronger storm that rolls in on Monday and continues into the first part of Tuesday. The yellow shaded area is over an inch. In fact, some locations around an inch and a half. But all areas, except for the deserts, of course, because the storm's coming in from the ocean, receiving around a half inch to an inch of rain. And here's a look at the wind potential for Monday, the stronger of the two storms. We can see wind gusts across our passes and ridges exceeding 45 miles per hour, but even winds exceeding 30 miles per hour on the coast as that storm rolls through. Now snowfall, it'll be significant even with storm number one with several inches above 4,500 feet as shown here. This includes the mountains of San Diego County. Now storm number two is even colder. So we're looking at snow levels getting down to around 3,000 feet, perhaps even a little bit lower. And we're looking at a drier snow and some big totals across our mountain areas. So the ski resorts over a foot, but even the mountain communities, 6 to 12 inches of snow.
Got to watch out for the, some of that snow making it down into the mountain passes like the Cajon Pass. Temperatures will be frigid on Monday across our mountains, not getting over 30 degrees. But even our coastal communities, temperatures not getting out of the 50s. What's causing this change in weather? Well, we look at two storms coming up. Here's the storm track for Friday into Saturday. Two different storms coming down the coast. The first one comes in Friday evening, and then the second one digs and settles over us right over Southern California on Saturday, as shown here. This jet stream coming directly from the north, so the storms are cold. Now, the next storm on Monday is larger and broader. That storm comes in on Monday and is still around Southern California on Tuesday, and it's the colder and stronger of the two storms. Now, here are some of the details. Take a look at your region, San Bernardino, Orange, Riverside, and San Diego County. Two different storms posted here. The highlight is that both of them are cold, but storm number two is colder on Monday into Tuesday, so heavier rainfall rates and also larger rainfall totals on Monday and Tuesday, along with that lower snow elevation. Speaking of snow, take a look at the snowfall expected. It will be significant with both of the storms, but on storm number two, greater snowfall totals and even snowfall down to our pass levels such as Cajon Pass. Those lower snow levels will be significant potentially for storm number two on Monday and Tuesday. But our mountain communities could receive as much as five to 10 inches of snow with storm number two and a few inches with storm number one Friday night into Saturday. What about another storm? There is on the horizon, the potential for another storm. It's a little far out, but most of the information we have suggests another storm developing but slowing down in the East Pacific, potentially tapping into deeper moisture as it moves towards Central and Southern California, the middle of next week, so late January. That active weather pattern that we expected to develop late in the month. Here are some of the highlights. Cold storms, two of them. First one comes in late Friday. The second part of that storm comes in Saturday morning. Then we have a break on Sunday. Another storm comes in Monday, rolls through Tuesday. Both storms are widespread precipitation. The greatest amounts will be in San Diego County and then some of the mountains such as the San Bernardino slopes. Storm number two is colder and stronger. Very low snow level potential with storm number two with significant snowfall above 4,000 feet. So significant snowfall, storm number two. Storm three is targeting middle of next week, perhaps Wednesday or Thursday of next week. That would be a milder storm, but still could have potential significant precipitation. Make sure you tune into weather.gov for the latest advisories, watches, and warnings. We are looking at the potential for these alerts even for storm number one but even more significantly for storm number two for early next week thanks everyone for tuning in stay safe